Hey guys, Isabel. Um, Saturday morning, taking a break from my walk so I can have a quick conversation with you. It's beautiful out here. Love Saturday walks because um, you just have time to slow down and decompress, and it's getting hot out here, but it's still a beautiful day. Um, and I just thought, you know what? Let me stop for my walk and have a conversation with you guys. Um, I want to share with you uh, some behavior um, around money that I'm not proud of. Um, so let me share two experiences with you. Um, the first one is uh, uh, regarding pediatric dentists. So I have been taking my kids to a pediatric dentist for years, ever since my daughter was little. Uh, but I live in the woodlands now, and that pediatrician, that dentist is in uh, Pasadena, and then this, their uh, second office is, is in Fannin. So since I've been in the woodlands, I've been looking for a dentist that I'm happy with. Um, and it's probably time for me to stop using a pediatric dentist now that my son is 13. But I know by experience that um, when it comes to pediatric dentists, they are out of network, they don't accept your insurance. And so I um, checked to see what my benefits were. Um, and I am, uh, as far as the six month cleaning, 100% covered in network and not a network. And then the next step I did was uh, asked for recommendations of dentists and um, got an overwhelming response um, with my Facebook friends in the community uh, with a certain dentist. So I called and make sure that they were in network and everything seemed to line up. Um, so there I went to my dentist appointment. When I called and made the appointment, they told me that they were, gonna, they were going to um, <laughs> reach out to his other dentist to uh, ask for his x-rays. Um, in just in case he doesn't need new x-rays so okay cool you know gave him that information um and um so time for my appointment and there we went to our appointment and they called us back and the first thing they did was x-rays they did the bites that they always do and then they did the long i forget what it's called where they took an, a panoramic view uh, of his um love the staff love the dentist love the person that can receive wonderful experience and then i go to check out and they tell me uh, well we always collect 20 percent up front it'll be a hundred dollars <laughs> after doing the extensive research that i did and then not telling me up front that we're going to collect a hundred dollars i was not I, it caught me by surprise and I didn't say anything at the time I grabbed my little debit card and paid the hundred and twenty dollars um, I think it was a hundred and twenty um, but I got in my car and thinking what the I why did I just pay a hundred dollars I have never ever paid a hundred dollars for uh, or paid anything even while I'm out of network for a cleaning so it caught me by surprise so you know, I, I called the, I called back and spoke to the office manager. I think this was on a Friday, so I called Monday. They told me wait until the billing comes through. We just want to make sure that they cover our prices. Well, you know now, medical now and dental, it's just the coverage is just. Anyway, um, so I ended up having to call twice. Uh, I did get my money back uh, just because I was I was I fought for my money back because I was upset that they didn't give me a heads up after I, me doing my research. Uh, that extra extra they did was not necessary. I, if I would have known I was going to pay up front, I would have said uh, let's hold off on that one and just do the bites uh, until he needs it because that extra extra is only in case he needs it. Well, do it when he needs it, not in case. Um, anyway, that's my first experience. My second experience that I can immediately think of just happened to me. My uh, phone, Gal uh, not Galaxy, what do I have? Motorola Play, uh, after having it just when it went over the year, it broke. Um, I didn't drop it. It just decided to start acting weird. It was turning off on me every five minutes and then it just doesn't power on anymore. Well, to try to save on my ridiculous phone bill because the phone bills can be ridiculous um pay for two phones you know and three phones i have three phones on my line uh i pay over 200 dollars and to try to cut that back on that i only have my son's phone uh, uh i only have his um uh, insured i've never needed insurance on my phone um but because it's not insured and it just went over the year, I had to buy a new phone. Um, anyway, I did my research with my phones, uh, trying to figure out which one's the best one, trying to figure out how much do I really want to pay because paying a thousand dollars for a phone is just ridiculous. Well, I ended up going with the Samsung S 
S9 and after seeing my choices and saying okay well if, if I cut here if I stop taking the tolls every day to work and uh, then I can uh, just pay the $39 a month for my Samsung phone and um, why not my daughter tells me mom you deserve a good phone you've never had a good phone so I'm like okay I kind of went for it which still hurts paying a thousand dollars for a phone I'm still not happy with I'm considering to take it back I'm still within that grace period of being able to take it back and get something cheaper um, but um, when I was buying my phone, I had to pay off, I had to pay $160 to pay off my other phone, which wasn't paid for yet in order for me to be able to upgrade. Well, I did it at night and then I never got the confirmation email that, uh, that went through. So I called the next day Verizon and say, Hey, can you double check on this? I me? I never got the email. I paid off my other phone and I paid, uh, uh, for the new the $30 whatever it was and then I ended up paying over $200 to get my new phone um, can you look it up I, I don't see the order um, anyway they looked it up no it didn't went through it didn't go through so they placed the order for me again paid off the phone again and then like 15 minutes later confirmation for both orders come in so I ended up paying 160 I ended up paying $200 twice $400 and so here it is 10 days later i am still patiently waiting for verizon they they already credited me 60 dollars, but they still owe me uh, 160 dollars because that i paid that phone off twice and here i am uh, patiently waiting for 160 dollars look 160 dollars uh when school's getting ready to start can use that for so many things um and so I still haven't received that. And so this is the behavior that I'm not proud of, is being caught by surprise with things like $100 for the dentist, your phone order went through twice, and it's just every day watching my checking account to make sure that that payment has gone through. Um, I'm just not proud of that. I'm not proud that I have to... Uh, negotiate with myself that if you don't take the tolls to work every day you can get the thousand dollar phone uh, because according to my daughter I deserve it I just I hate that behavior I, I want to be able to have enough cushion in my checking account that when something happens that is not it's supposed to happen or that it's I wasn't expecting it to happen it's gonna be okay I can play it cool I can say it's only a hundred dollars It'll all work out at the end, no problem. And so that's why I am doing my A1 business again because I need choices. I need the choice to be able to have the freedom to say $100, no problem. You overcharge me, uh, let's get this resolved, but no problem. Um, that's dollars for a phone. Well, it's not like I buy a phone uh, every year. I don't upgrade every year, um, no problem. I um, want to take the tolls because I want to not worry about traffic and get home to my son as fast as I can. No problem. I need choices. And the, cho the only way that I'm going to get those choices, the only way that I'm going to be able to say no problem um, and have that financial security in my bank is that I earn more money. And uh, at this point in my life, I need more money now. The way that I'm going to get that extra money is by working hard at my job, continue to provide value at work so I can continue to get raises, continue to work on myself um, to become better at everything that I do and work my side business. So, you know, what about you? How does an unexpected $100 out of your checking account, um, how does that, how do you handle that? And, and are you at a place financially where you're okay because you're just gonna say no problem, let's get this handled. If it's not, if you're like me and you're sick of having to uh, stress with an extra $100 uh, uh, come out of your pocket and you just wanna be cool about it and say, look, uh, it is what it is, let's get this handled, no problem. Then let's have the conversation about partnering together and making that happen. How can a little side business that at the current moment is only $10 to get started um, can help you give you choices. So let's have that conversation.